What's good, YouTube? This channel is really checking in. If you're new to the channel, like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And don't forget to hit the notification bell and hit all so you can be notified on the latest content I drop. Let's get into it. So today we got P. Diddy on the roster, okay? Now, there's a music producer just came forward and, you know, he's taking Diddy to court for sexual misconduct. And it was some other, excuse me, it was some other names brought up, you know, in this paperwork. And, you know, Diddy possibly might be looking at, you know, some jail time, you know, like R. Kelly. But um, I'm going to let y'all check it out for y'all self. Producer is accusing hip hop mogul of sexually assaulting him and forcing him to have sex with prostitutes. But a lawyer for Combs called the events described in the lawsuit pure fiction. This is now one of several sexual assault lawsuits filed against Combs in recent months, including a lawsuit from the R&B singer Cassie that was settled last year. To break this all down for us, I want to bring in trial attorney and ABC News contributor Brian Buckmeyer. So nice to see you. Oh, it's great to be here with you. So you've you've been covering this for for a while. I mean, you're familiar with Sean P. Uh, Diddy Combs. Not only does this lawsuit mention Diddy, it also includes other A-list celebrities. What stands out here to you? So if you see me looking down, I'm looking down at the 73-page complaint that was filed yesterday. In terms of allegations of celebrities, we're talking about Cuba Gooding Jr. being shown through still photos of what the complainant says they have videos of, of groping him. There are allegations of P. Diddy um, touching the genitalia and anus of the complainant. And also, if you look to the complaint here, there's a few Easter eggs here where it says the rapper redacted on Mr. Combs' yacht consorting with underage girls uh, and sex workers. And you look down to the redaction, it says, well, the person is a Philly rapper who dated uh, Nicki Minaj. I think that may be Meek Mills. It also says an R&B singer redacted in Mr. Combs' Los Angeles home consorting with underage girls and sex work. And when you go down to the redaction, it says he's a Grammy Award winning R&B singer who had trouble with law enforcement after assaulting a Bayesian billionaire. I don't know who's a billionaire from Barbados that we know that dated someone. That sounds like Chris Brown. So there's a lot of big names here, both as Easter eggs and also just on the front pages of these allegations. Wow, just huge. The lawsuit also claims the misconduct happened during the creation of Diddy's latest album, The Love Album, and is seeking... As we've mentioned, $30 million. Uh, the suit not only names a mogul, but includes his son and Universal Music Group, claiming there is an alleged RICO enterprise to enable his misconduct. Explain why the lawsuit goes beyond Diddy and what's kind of at stake here. This, along with Cassie's uh, lawsuit that you talked about earlier that was settled, reads a lot like what we saw in the R. Kelly case in the EDNY, where they're talking about this being a criminal enterprise that's all feeding towards this one individual's uh, depravity of wanting drugs and sex and rock and roll, roll and everything in between that everyone seemed to know and go out and facilitate what Sean Diddy Combs wanted. Even in part of these allegations or these complaints, they call his chief of staff the Ghislaine Maxwell to P. Diddy's uh, Jeffrey Epstein, saying that this is a total sexual enterprise to feed into uh, his desires. And we want to note that Diddy has denied all claims against him, but this can't possibly help his brand. Like, how do, where do you see this going, and, and, and where do you see this lawsuit going? <laughs> Again, I draw the comparison to, to that of R. Kelly, where there might have been rumors in the background. There were lawsuits that were settled. There were whispers uh, behind closed doors. But as those whispers start to grow and grow and get louder, you potentially could see greater civil litigation. They're saying in this case they want to fight it. Potentially we see a, a, a jury trial out of here. But this is based on sex trafficking allegations as well as claims that are criminal in nature. For me, I'm thinking SDNY, that being the Southern District of, Manha of New York, right here in Manhattan, they're probably looking at these allegations allegations and thinking, where are the videos? Where are these still shots that we're seeing in these complaints? And can we investigate it to see if there's more here, potentially criminal charges? And that could probably come out at some point. Potentially. All right, Brian, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for unwrapping that for